today is the 28th of September. It is Suicide Prevention Month and I would like to use this video to briefly speak to you about suicide prevention. Most importantly, is focusing on how when you are affected by suicide and having to deal with a loss due to suicide, how you can deal with that and how you can cope with that. My name is Toby Lingane. I am the counseling psychologist at the Counseling Center at Rose University, and I want to use this brief video to share with you a few tips on how to deal with loss due to suicide. Firstly, I want to highlight that um, suicide is always an experience that is unique to the person, and there is no appropriate way of reacting to it. There are things that you can do to find support and to cope better, but there is no set way of this is how you react to dealing with a loss due to suicide and any other loss. It is important to understand that the context of the loss. So firstly, how were you relating to that person? What was the relationship? What role did this person play in your life? How did this person um, commit suicide and what were the issues around how they ended up committing suicide? Was there communication made before committing suicide? Um, there's a lot of things that will come up once you are faced with a situation where you have to deal with a loss of a loved one due to suicide. And so there's a lot of emotions that might come up around all of those things. And those emotions are, again, very unique to each person and not necessarily experienced in the same way. And so the following will be what I think is important to remember when going through that process. First of all, I think being patient with yourself because it is important to remember that you did not prepare for that experience and so there's no way that you're gonna suddenly know how to move on from it. And so being patient with yourself means giving yourself time to understand how are you feeling? How are you responding? How is that looking like over time? There's no time frame for grief. There is um, response, a number of responsibilities that we all have and we have to kind of continue with as life continues, but there is no proper way of saying, oh, now you should have been done with grief. And so being patient with yourself includes understanding what's happening, understanding how you're positioning yourself um, after the experience um, of losing a loved one, understanding what your needs are, understanding who was around you to provide that, understanding what access you have to different kinds of support systems. The second tip is be gentle with yourself. So being gentle with yourself means do not be hard on yourself when you're having certain experiences um, emotionally, certain thoughts that you might feel, things like feeling angry, um, feeling abandoned, feeling um, a sense of betrayal, feeling um, confused, and all of these things and other emotions that I didn't list here might come up. And so being gentle with yourself means allowing yourself to feel all of those things because those are natural responses to grief. Um, the third um, tip is developing rituals. So what that means is, yes, you are dealing with grief and there's a lot of things that will come up emotionally, mentally, um, Developing rituals means setting systems in place to help you cope better. So what this means is having a routine, um, having a support system and identifying how to reach those people, um, going to therapy and f finding a way to journal and express how you're feeling. Talk about the experience of losing a loved one. Share with people that will understand. Um, it is always interesting how when you are around other people that have experienced the same thing it there's a sense of being understood and being heard and a sense of relating with those people in order to help you deal with the grief um this the fourth tip is finding a way to continue and what this means is even though you're still going through the emotions you give yourself enough time to kind of rest and allow yourself to go through those emotions but you also want to try and find ways, healthy ways, to continue with your life. So going back to school, um, going back to your job, being there for other people um, in your relationships without using these things as an excuse to not grieve. So while you're finding your routines and you're doing things that you're supposed to be doing to continue with your life, you're, you're also allowing yourself space and time 
to process the grief, to process the loss and understand how it is affecting you. And so there's a lot more other tips that I can share, but I think just for this video, it is important to understand that um, faith in, in, in hope faith and hope become very important parts of how you go through the process of grief and what that means is um, finding meaning in in the experience that you're having meaning that will help you continue um, so there's different things that you can learn in therapy to help you go through that process what is important is that you are coping in a healthy way and you're not pretending as if you're not going through the grief but while you're going through the grief you're doing it in a way that is going to help you continue living and it's going to help you understand how to support yourself in order to not find it um, as difficult as, as it might be um, hopefully those those tips were useful um, there's certain numbers that i will attach to these videos with um, places where you can reach out and call um, if you are finding it difficult to be by yourself and deal with the loss while um, maybe you're at home and maybe you're not able to go to therapy at the moment. So there's a pre suicide prevention line with the number that I'll attach. And then there's the SADC community that will um, offer brief sessions on, on over telephonic therapy. There's the High Health Office and the Counseling Center at the Rose University and the ER24, those, those different... Um, structures are there to help you understand how you're feeling. They're also there to help contain and support you while you're going through the emotions, but also to refer you to places where you might be able to find help. Thank you so much, and I hope everybody is taking care of themselves um, and keeping in mind those that are affected by grief and keeping in mind those that are going through a difficult time um, to be able to support them, but also to take care of yourself. Thank you.